Posi I think I am. I've analyzed this more than the typical real estate agent. I, I think I'm comfortable, and I have an economics degree, so that makes me an authority so over. So, uh, what's your prediction on the future then, of, for four million dollar houses? I don't have a prediction. I'm not smart enough to give predictions. I am smart enough to take the data and what about what has occurred and draw a conclusion as to why it occurred. Fair. All right. How's Second, your four million dollar house? Um, second article, the housing market is slowing and sellers are freaking out. They're freaking out, Joey. They are freaking out. Buyers um, are freaking out. Sellers are freaking out. Everyone's freaking out. Yeah. So this article is saying that the housing market has changed so dramatically and sellers' expectations are so out of whack and buyers' buying power has gone down so dramatically that, um, you know, sellers are, they're angry. It's actually really cool. We know a lot of the people. So um, Camille Canales, who's a Bucktown agent, she's yeah. quoted in that. Emily Sachs Wong oh, cool. is quoted in that. So this is Rubina a local. Bocari. Yeah, so article. this is also from Crane Chicago Business. Um, and it's written by Dennis Rodkin. Are you familiar? So yeah. he's like one of the real estate writers for uh, Chicago, for Cranes. Um, thoughts? Well, I, don't know if we, I don't even know if we need thoughts. That's what the article is. Everything that I just described is what the article is saying. But it, was the headline proven true by all the folks you just mentioned, or were they trying to, to quell? Okay, here's the headline. Sellers are freaking out. Yeah. Okay, set that aside for a second. The content says sellers' expectations are out of whack given pricing over the last 12 months. That is correct. Okay, so that's true. Yeah. And their, ex their expectations are such that they should be getting a lot more money. Okay. Correct. Okay, so like we know that. And then buyers, buying power has gone down given interest rates, so they can't afford what the sellers are asking. True. Okay, yeah. So, so this, was, this was my fucking thing with this article. But the freaking out I know. is yes. not happening. Yes, thank it's you. Not, it it's clickbait. It's fucking clickbait. I, I don't, Dennis Rackin, I don't like fault him. He needs, to, he needs to get his clicks. I'm sure he needs viewership of his articles and he needs to, you know. But For sure. But it's bullshit. And this is the problem with the media, again, especially around real estate, everyone wants clicks and it's an easy way. So I was actually explaining this to someone the other day. Um, what's the easiest way to stoke someone's fear? So like my opinion, it's like war and murder because people fear for their actual lives. Jesus. Yeah, no, this, this is, we're, go we're going deep now. Yeah. When, you, when you start uh, stoking people's fear about real estate, what is the fear that you're stoking? Losing money? No, so maybe, but I think it's, I think the reason.